Hey, this is my friend Habi, <laughs> and she is demonstrating her magnetic energy, and I think this is what everyone should be working toward, having this uh, healing energy that she has drawn and accumulated. Yeah, this it sticks. This first one. All the metal sticks to her one. always. <laughs> this one is alright. Yeah. Okay, I like the cell phone much better. Okay. okay. Because cell phone is heavier and dense. Alright, yes. so well done. Yeah. How about this hand over here? This hand. Both hand too? They all yeah. stick. <laughs> and the forehead again? Alright. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I like that cell phone. Much okay, better. good. Thank you. This is a very small spoon. Let's just try the big one. Okay, thank you. 54 years, I, I've been trying to show people. I think I'm the only one that I know have this kind of energy. Some people have energy on top here, and then they don't have it here, or they have it here, or they don't have it here. So I always joke around. Let's say if you're a woman, you have a lot of energy over here, and some energy over here. And you don't have any energy here, no, don't have any, you just don't have enough to like uh, attract like a spoon or cell phone or you're not very electromagnetic here. Then most likely you will attract a man with a lot of energy over here, he's smart, and he will help you and provide for you. Let's go, I, go back to that you were born with that energy, but you, yeah, so was, it was a desire, you made the decision to use it, right? After a certain point, you made the decision yourself that you wanted to use it, even though you, at first you didn't use it, even though you were born with it, right? Yeah, I did not use it. I was skeptical. Yeah, I, I, uh, I used to make joke of people on television that when you put your hand on them and they fall down. Not that I don't believe, I even go out my way and ask people, you really stupid enough to believe in that? And I realized I was one of those people, they call faith healer. So, anyway, uh, the way I brought up full of suffering. Every night I go to bed, hungry, and a lot of pain. My, my father was very abusive. So I was want to know how to end suffering. So I would write letter, and everywhere I go, I have a little piece of paper here and there. When I met my husband, he thought I was the most intelligent person. I keep writing. But little did he know, I only asked the same question. Write letter to God, how do I end suffering? I've been writing letter to God for 47 years. Five, one day God showed up. And I have a white light here. So they talk about the white light. Then I realized that why I don't do something with this? First, I was really shocked that why God came to me. I'm not a religious fanatic, I'm not a skeptical scientist. What do I do with this information? The God's head and the universe and the Big Bang, all this thing. Then I realized I spent 47 years writing letter to God and I'm really neutral. I'm just a housewife, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And after my husband passed away, I realized I have to do what I come to earth. I guess I volunteered to do this, how to end suffering. And so I started healing people big time. So let's go back to, like I said, if a woman have a lot of energy over here and she does, and she has some here, she most likely attract men full energy here. But if he only have energy here and does not have energy here, which is love and nurturing in the hand. I always said to her, take the money and run, he's smart, he can provide for you. So and he is basically kind of like spu spiritual or intellectual. It's kind of like when you read book, you read a lot of book, then you become smarter and smarter. So this wisdom, you take it with you life after life. It's the same your heart. When you fall in love with somebody, or that's why you see the arms coming out from here. You never see the arm coming out from here. The mind does not want to sell themselves short. It's when you fall in love, you will give unconditionally. So, 
hand is nurturing, so has a healer. We want this for you more than for ourselves. We don't want you to die, so take our helping hand. We want to nurture you. So this is the energy. People say I can do healing, I want to do healing. But if they don't have this kind of energy, then they cannot do my kind of healing. They can do different kind of healing. And everybody has energy, it just depends how much energy you have. So the more electric magnetic you have in, from your hand, the more spiritual healing that you can do. So if you have a lot of energy in the hand, you can just play. Place it on people's third eye, you can open the third eye. They will start seeing a vision. Like a live review movie, or you can open the third eye, they will see color, or they can be our body, or they can ask a question and they will get an answer. So it's a way to help them tap into the source. And I don't know how to teach people to do this kind of healing. I think we all teach and healer and it's, all you have to do is just volunteer and everybody experiences different things depending on their spiritual level and I guarantee you everybody experiences something. Okay, I even have people love the data on my chair. And there's all kinds of things happening. Moving energy is really fun. Yeah. And you, don't you have to anymore. try. You know, if you don't try, you just never know. It's just a willingness to try. And I think the only difference between a person who is true healer is they volunteer, you know. So all we have to do is just volunteer. And my healing, people can see, say, experiencing, is when I remember God, the universe, the God's head, and that's when they really experience a lot of things going on. So it's just this purple light with the super silver spot inside. I can see the God's face and then they have many head around and a lot of us already joined the God's head. So my goal is to make sure uh, talk about this all loving God so we all can experience.